Here's the inspiration for my DIY. And here are the results. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Beverly Stunning Creations. In this video, I'll show you how to make this gorgeous faux plaster wall decor. As seen in my inspiration picture, you'll notice that the original is quite expensive. But don't worry about the price because I'll teach you how to make my version of it for a fraction of the cost. It's going to take a little time and patience and it's going to get a little messy, but I promise you it'll be so worth it in the end. So if you like what you see and want to learn how, then please keep watching. I already have down some brown paper to protect my surface and I also have one of these 8x10 Dollar Tree frames. So what I'm going to do is take it completely apart. I'm going to take the glass and put it aside for a later project because I won't need it in this DIY. As you can see this frame is black now it's up to you if you want to leave it this color. I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum spray paint to spray paint my frame white. And since the frame is black, I'm going to spray on three layers of the white spray paint. And I'll be sure to paint the inside and the outside of the frame as well. I'll also be using the border that's included in this frame and I'm going to spray paint it gold. So I'm going to take both pieces outside, spray paint them, and then come back and go on with the DIY. Alright, so let's get started. Here I have a bouquet of the Dollar Tree roses. I would prefer them in white, but they didn't have any, so I chose this color. I have some more of the Dollar Tree caulk that I used in one of my previous DIYs. I have this white acrylic paint that I purchased from Walmart for 50 cents. And I also have some of these spatula tool things, this disposable plastic bowl, and the popsicle stick. Alright, the first thing I did was cut open the caulk, and then I put some in the bowl. And I didn't measure as you can see, but if I had to guess, I guess it would measure to be about three tablespoons. Squeeze a little bit of the caulk to the top to close it so it doesn't dry out. Okay, moving right along, here I have one of these small canvas panels from Dollar Tree. I removed the wrapping from the panel. Next, I'm going to take some of my white acrylic paint and mix it into the caulk. And I didn't measure this neither. I just kind of just poured it on top and then use my popsicle stick to mix it up. Now when you're mixing this, it's going to seem really stiff and pasty at first, but as you mix it, it'll get smooth, I promise. Just keep going. I want my mixture to resemble a really thin cake frosting. So if I need to make it thinner, all I need to do is add a little bit more acrylic paint. Now that my mixture is ready, I'm going to spread it out on my panel, and I want this to be uneven. I want it to look like one of those really old walls with uneven plaster. That's the look that I'm going for. Next, I used a smaller spatula to add more detail to the panel. Okay, so I'm happy with how the panel looks. I'm going to put this aside to dry. Alright, so moving on to the flowers. What you want to do is take the flowers apart. And again, these are roses. And they have these little plastic things inside. What you want to do is remove both pieces. And to do that, simply take off the bottom piece of the rose. And then start removing the sets of the petals one by one. And when you're doing that, make sure that you keep them in order. Okay, so here's the first piece that I'll be removing. Put that aside. Here's the second piece that I removed. Now I'm putting the rolls back together in the order that I took it apart. All right, so now I'm gathering the rose petals in my hand and putting some glue right at the base of the petals. And I'll be putting that little plastic star piece back on the bottom. I also adjusted the flower petals before the hot glue set up. Alright, so I'm happy with the flower. Now I'm going to add some additional hot glue to the base of the flower. I 
I then cut off the excess stem and added some additional hot glue. I did three roses in all. All right, ahead of time, I went ahead and prepared some more of the caulk and acrylic paint mixture. And I'm going to use my fingers to apply the mixture onto my petals. And I'm going to start on the back of these petals. Now, you can use a paintbrush to do this as well. And I'll show you how to do that later on in the DIY. As you can see, I started with the bottom row of petals. And I'm going to work my way to the top. And remember, I'm just covering the back of the petals. All right, I separate the petals. I'll let this dry. And I'll also do this to the next two roses as well. While the first coat of the mixture is drying on my roses, I'm going to apply my first coat of acrylic white paint to my panel. All right, so now I'm smoothing out the brush strokes. I'll let this dry, come back, and add one more coat of the acrylic paint. The first layer of the mixture has dried, so now I'm going to coat the top of my petals with the same mixture, but this time I'm going to use a paintbrush. And again, I'm starting with the bottom row of petals. I double checked my petals and added more mixture where needed. I also made sure to add the mixture in the very center of the rows. I used a small fan to dry my flowers and after it dries I'll come back and add another coat to the bottom and top of my rose petals. Now I'm going to remove some of the leaves and I want a total of four leaves so I'm just going to cut them apart and then paint them white on both sides with the acrylic paint and then let them dry. Now that the leaves are dry, I'm going to apply some of the mixture on the top of all four leaves. Now I'm applying my second coat of the mixture to my roses. Now it's up to you. If you're happy with the first coat, then you can stop there. But I wanted mine to really look like plaster. So I went in with a second coat of the mixture on the bottom and the top of the roses. Again, I'll do this to all three roses. Let them completely dry and then come back and move on. Now that the roses are dry, I'm going to paint them white. The two in the corner I've already painted white. This one is partially done. All you need to do is just hold the petals up and brush on the white paint. You want to paint the bottom and the top of each petal just like you applied the mixture. I made sure to add paint to the center of the flower as well. Now let your flowers completely dry. Now that my flowers are dry, I'm going to coat the bottom and the top petals with this matte finished Mod Podge. I separated the flower petals and then put all three flowers aside to dry. Onto the gold border. Now I'm going to spread on some Mod Podge and then put glitter on top. You do not have to do this. You can leave it plain. You can leave it white. You can paint it whatever color you want. It's totally up to you. I put an equal mixture of gold and silver glitter in this container to make more of a champagne gold color. I let this glitter sit for about 10 minutes. Shook off the excess, let it dry, and then sealed it with some hairspray. The roses are completely dry, and I'm using the black panel so you can see the roses better. Now, if you're not happy with how your petals are looking on your rose, you can use a little bit of hot glue to reshape the rose. Like in this section of the rose, I wanted this particular petal to sit up higher. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue at the base and just press it there and kind of fold it back in the way that I want it to sit. I use high temperature glue sticks. So I use a stick to hold the pedal in place until the glue set up. So that's all you need to do is just move your flower petals around 
in different positions and then find the position that you like and glue it in place. Initially I was going to have lighting above my pictures but at the last minute I decided that I wanted to add some string lights to the roses. Because I want this to look really nice I'm going to drill a hole in the back of my panel and you could probably use a screwdriver or something like that just to stick a hole in it if you decide to add some string lights. Before I add my string lights, I need to glue my roses in place. So now I'm just figuring out how I want to lay my roses. And um, this might take some time, so I think it took me about five minutes to actually figure out exactly how I wanted them. Now that I've figured out the position, I need to put my border around because I don't want the flowers to overlap the border. Now, if they did, it would still look really nice, but I don't want them to overlap it. I want them to be just inside the border. I'm happy with how the flowers look inside the border. So now I'm going to glue them down. I'm using Gorilla Glue for a permanent hold and hot glue for an immediate hold. I replaced the border to the side where I wanted to place the leaves. I'll be using Gorilla Glue along with hot glue to glue these down as well. As you can see, adding the leaves really does make the picture pop. Finally, I'm going to put everything together. First, I'm going to insert the border. And then there's like a little foam border that comes with the picture. You want to insert that as well. And then our flowers go next. And then the back panel to the picture frame. I also put a hole in the back of it because I'll be threading my string lights through it. Before you can insert the back panel completely, you'll need to stand the picture frame upward. I then laid the picture down and made sure that my flowers were centered. I also checked to make sure that my border was laying flat and then used small amounts of hot glue to glue it down. I had to be very careful because my hot glue gun is a high temperature gun. I would recommend using a low temperature glue gun on this part of the DIY. Make sure that your border is neat and flat after adding the glue. And once you're done, your picture should look like this. It really does look like plaster. Now I'm going to insert my string lights from the back of the picture. Just poke it through the hole and pull it through. If your string lights don't go through the hole, then more than likely there's some hot glue clogging the hole. Just use the tip of the hot glue gun to remove it and then push your lights through. You'll have enough wire left over to mount your switch on the top, bottom, or side of your picture. But before we do that, turn on the lights and then start stringing the lights inside the flowers. Now when you do this, you want to conceal the wire as best as you can. I'll string the remaining lights off camera. After I was done stringing the lights, I decided to add some hot glue between the back panel and the styrofoam border. I put the picture back together again and I also hot glued the switch to the center of the back of the frame. Now I can use this hook that comes with the frame but instead I glue one at the very top. So I'll hang them on the wall, come back and let you see what they all look like. And here are my three completed pictures. And I'm absolutely in love with them all. They all look amazing with or without the string lights. But the string lights really do give them the extra something. Alright guys, so this completes my DIY. I hope you're inspired to recreate these. And if you are, please leave a comment below. Also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you all on my next upload. Bye for now.